Hi, Mark Civic Crocker Farm Auction. I'm here to discuss a fabulous example of Southern Redware that we'll be offering in our upcoming auction. Uh, this picture was made in Almance County, North Carolina, sometime during the late 18th century. It's a really fabulous example of exceptionally early Southern Redware. This piece is wonderfully thrown. It's among the finest thrown redware pitchers that we've ever offered. You can see um, just how delicate this form is and how extremely finely thrown it is. Look just how thin that rim is. It's remarkable um, that a piece over 200 years old has survived in such good condition being so delicately thrown. These potters obviously really knew what they were doing. And we have some nice tooling at the rim, really sharply pinched spout. You can see that of course from the top view here. And this great handle that seems almost too big for the piece. It's very uh, widely thrown handle with nice ribbing throughout and then these three impressions at the terminal very distinctive to pieces from that region and um, you know you also think of, of the migration of ideas and, and, and styles and you can also see that uh, heavy depressing of the terminals also in Tennessee so there may be some kind of connection there but but anyway very distinctive uh, handle construction that you don't typically see on pieces from other regions You can see it has this striking manganese and orange slip decoration. Uh, the orange being uh, probably some kind of iron concentration. Um, another trait of pieces from that region, you see this mix of slips that you don't really see elsewhere. So normally you'd see uh, manganese or you'd see uh, maybe some, some type of uh, darker brown slip, uh, but to use dark brown and orange colored slips. Very unusual. Um, an iron rich clay may have only been used. It may have just been some kind of uh, redware earthenware clay that they mix with some water to create that color. But that's not a typical color, that orange color that you would find on um, redware from other regions. Very, very unusual. You can see each side it's a very nice floral motif, distinctive of that region, slip trail, but also distinctive to pieces of that region is this, uh, this segmenting of the design. So we have these very beautiful freeform flowing floral motifs, but then you also have an almost geometric, a kind of rigid construction to the design and this girding of the, of the flowers between straight and wavy slip trail stripes that run vertically on the piece. So, yes, very classic decoration to that region, very distinctive to that region. Um, if, you're, if you're to just draw these designs on a piece of paper, you, you would immediately identify them as Alamance County motifs. And of course the base, the bottom half of this picture, is wonderfully decorated with striping, both straight and wavy, um, alternating in orange and uh, dark brown slips. The base color is a really fabulous uh, cream, which is also uh, something that you do see occasionally in pieces from that region. It's, it's uh, something more unusual for that region to find this color. And of course, it's highly desirable because of just how striking and beautiful it is. It's really a masterwork of both form and decoration. You don't see too many pictures from Alamance County um, and the condition is, is incredible for pieces of that age and origin and the decoration is really wonderful too. Uh, we're very excited uh, to offer it in our upcoming auction.